welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 with a bit of a challenge. Now, this is the Bentley Turbo R. And it is, well, quite a luxurious land yacht that I think lost, what, 95% of its value over the last few years? Started off 200 grand, you get them for 10. It's incredibly terrible value for money, but we're not using the value for money. We're going to turn this vehicle into a rally car. Yes, but just to add some interest, we are going to keep it rear-wheel drive. And we're going to use the stock engine. That doesn't mean we're not going to modify the stock engine, because this is the Turbo R, now it's the twin Turbo R. We already started out with a pretty good 480 or 487 foot-pound of torque, sorry. 330 horsepower is not bad. It is 5,300 pounds, and we're only going to make it heavier, but, you know, whatever. So I figure, just for a bit of difference in our terms of challenges, we're just going to try and build the best rear-wheel drive rally car with this thing. 275s on the front are pretty good. 305s on the rear are also pretty darn good. We can get some wider track width to give us some better handling. That's always a plus. So you just put all this stuff on. This is going to drop the weight down slightly, but it is still going to be the equivalent of rallying a cathedral. <laughs> However, I'm hoping this will be a very powerful cathedral, at least in one way or another. You'll, you'll see what I mean. We are now in an A class. We could put it on drift suspension. We're not going to do that. We're going to put it on rally suspension and give us some proper ground clearance. Yeah, you'll see what I mean, because the engine I have messed around with a little bit is quite something. It's 5,500 pounds, and now we're going to drop it down to 4,300 pounds. We, t we take a half a ton out of the vehicle, and it's still two tons. <laughs> <clears throat> now, these upgrades are all fairly normal. We have, they, they, they add the usual amounts of power relatively incrementally for the power and the torque. We're up to over 600 foot-pounds of torque, we made that 655, up to 700 or 600 horsepower, sorry. And now we're in the S1 class, rear-wheel drive. However, we're at 722 foot-pounds of torque. Almost 600 horsepower, and then, boom, 650 horsepower, 800 foot-pounds of torque. Oh, hey, oh, come on. You're, you're really going to do that to me? I kind of have to leave it at that power number now. I mean, why why not? I could put an extra 20, 6 horsepower on, give it 840 torque, but honestly, 666 horsepower, 843 foot-pounds of torque. It's a heavy car. It is 4,200 pounds, but we have so much torque and the devil's number for power we might just be able to really make this thing shift. And just to make things a little more interesting, we're going to go into the AIs as well. Now, I am going to turn the difficulty up a bit, because I was doing a challenge just to get this, and I can't be bothered to race for actually seriously. Now, I did make it open to other all-wheel drive cars, but it appears the entire field has gone with Bentley Turbo R's. Okay! That works for me. We're doing a one make race set. I did offer it up to the other rally cars that are along this performance line, like the Ford Fiesta. But, um, I guess if we want to do all Bentleys, I guess that works. Now, I'm going to have more handling because they didn't put aero parts. Okay, that's just blatantly cheating. Ah! I think they might be all-wheel drive. They might be... Out of that, or they have a lot. Cause, I, cause, uh, I got that. Okay, I didn't mean to almost miss that corner, but it's fine. This is a bit sketchy to drive. I'll be honest. It's, it's a lot of power. Luckily, the turbo delivery is actually okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, luckily, the power delivery is actually quite good. It's not like a sudden burst of power. Can I sneak up the inside? I can. It does still get quite a bit of wheel spin, but. There we go, get a good run through the water. So they might be all-wheel drive, but I'm gonna have the better handling. That's actually quite an interesting dynamic, though, a much better acceleration. 
much better traction, I should say. Oh, well, one of them just murdered a tree. <laughs> Maybe they're not gonna have as good all-wheel drive handling as I thought, considering one of them nearly missed a checkpoint and the other one, well, ate a tree. Oh, it's a very slidey car. It's like, it's, it's like the largest, lounciest Stratos of all time. <laughs> it just chucks it around these corners. It's even third, honestly. <laughs> It's just so slight, and unlike an actual rallying, it doesn't actually make you any faster to drift. It's good fun, it's very spectacle. It makes a great spectacle, but it doesn't actually help you. <laughs> oh, I hit the wall. That was going to be a brilliant line until I hit the wall. I think fifth might be our position, let's see, maybe third? I think the first two were driving are too far up the road. We've had a few mistakes. It's not been a perfect run with the Bentley, but this here we go. Now this sort of thing is getting interesting. Will I have the speed? I won't have the acceleration, man. That's, that's for sure. I might have also been in the wrong gear. I'm still getting used to the gears in this car. Oh, I have lots of speed. Uh. I'm gonna sneak it up around the outside. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. I'm still on the. I'm on the inside now. See how the brakes are. Brakes are actually not bad. I'm gonna shut that door on him. Right. Can we catch this guy? That 13. <coughs> My voice is exploding. I don't know why. <coughs> However, in a bizarre twist of fate, the, my voice is giving out before the Bentley Turbo R. Unfortunately, I will not have time, and he will claim a fourth place. That was a good race. That's good, quite a good race. Um. Bit of a sketchy car to drive sometimes, you're not 100% sure on the brakes, you just had to get used to them. But, yeah, quite a good car, actually. Our next race is at the Glen Ranos Trail Circuit. And it starts down on tarmac before driving over a mountain dirt road, so... We'll see how this goes. It is post-rain, because I really don't like racing in the rain. It's just very irritating with the puddles on your... with the dots on your... Screen. So I just do post rank because it's very similar. Ow. Okay. We're going almost three wide. I'm gonna sneak up the inside of the brake chucker over there. We're into ninth. That's good. Ooh. It's a bit wobbly on the suspension. The Turbo R is known for wobbly suspension, and this is even wobblier. Aha, we have a good run here. Uh, brakes. There we go. We're too wide on the bridge. I'm getting massive overs here. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <coughs> We're going up the, we're, can we go around the outside? Nope, not if I, not if I miss my braking zone like that. Ugh. And get massive oversteer again. We're too wide. I need a shift, that's always a good thing. Nope, nope, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Alright, he's run wide. Actually, he hasn't, I've run, he has run wide, but I've followed him. Okay. Come on, get the power down, get the power down. Without getting over to your please. There we go. We're in fifth already. That's good. <clears throat> Gotta manage that throttle through these corners. These mid speed corners can be a bit of a problem. <clears throat> but we're going there nicely done. We don't get too much oversteer. We don't run wide. That's always a good thing. Uh, understeer. There we go. This thing is still quite heavy. Let's not forget. So I gotta I got say, this vehicle is actually dealing with this very well. For being rear wheel drive with 800 foot pounds of torque, that's absurdly good. I am struggling to catch these guys at the front. Maybe third gear? Yeah, we want third gear. I don't fall off the mountain. We don't want to go full Mitsubishi Evo on us. Oh, he's getting over here. Now get on the brakes. Uh, we're good. Can we sneak it around the outside? Not if he... Uh, there we go. We... There we go. We made the pass stick. They're running wide. Well, two of them ran wide. Come on, we need to capitalize. We need to capitalize. Get on the podium. Get on that gas. Nice and early. There we go. They're too wide up ahead. Can we make a move on these guys? I don't know. We're running out of time. We're gonna try and sneak it up the inside. They run wide. 
for three wide. I'm on the outside of the three wide. That's not ideal. Ow, ow, ow. That's just rude, guys. But he. <laughs> All right, now I just need to defend. Look. I only have the speed. I don't think they'll have the top speed as me. Uh, not, but they have the. Uh, they can't quite fight back. He's on a shallower line. I'm gonna take this one unless I absolutely screw it up. Or he has a massive run. He does have quite a good run, but he can't go anywhere with it. I will get the lead. That was a very close finish for seven. That was a great race. I mean, I got sandwiched against the wall, but that did end up getting me the position. Yeah, look at that finish by the AI. That's just what three, just under three, over three tenths, of, three hundredths of a second. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> great race. That was very, very good. For our penultimate race, we are at Mud Kickers because what is a better place to take a four thousand pound land rally yacht and Mud Kickers? I mean, it's a perfect combination. Yeah, I, I do get left in the dust on, on tarmac, especially. I hope we should catch up in the first corner. They're locking up. We're gonna try and, yep, sneak it up the inside. Nice. We're gonna, we're gonna try and keep it in third on these corners. Can help give us better access. We're three wide. We're three wide. Mud kickers for some reason or another. Oh, he used my strategy. You evil, evil sod. How dare you? That's my strategy, damn it. Mud Kickers, for some reason or another, has always produced fantastic racing. It is the exact opposite of a track that should produce great racing, and yet it produces some truly spectacular racing. We love that. They're going three wide up ahead. We're two wide back here. We were three wide on the first corner. Ugh. Holding around the outside. There we go. Now trying to get on the power. No, he's, he's, I'm still on the outside. Still on the outside. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. We're up in 8th place. We're going to coast it through that corner so they don't run wide and hit that wall. But we're going to keep it in 3rd gear, try and reduce that wheel spin. Look, at, we're still getting a bit of wheel spin. I find myself once again on the inside, which means I'm going to go through the water splash. Yep. Again, the AI stealing my tactic. And it's just criminal. Just look, we're good. Hang on, I have a Roomba interruption. Right, we're back. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, I have a Roomba. It's very, he's very loud. I've just met, I'm blaming the Roomba on that. That's the Roomba's fault, not mine. <laughs> Okay, let's just get back to racing then. Let's get focused and serious and, you know, there we go. Are we going to go around the outside again? No, we're going to try and do the cutback on the inside. Uh, is he going to have a better run? He is going to have a better run. Ah! Come on. They have a lot of power too. They might be using their max out stock engines as well. Oh, that was a bad shift. <laughs> And that probably would have killed the clutch in real life, or the gearbox, but, you know, whatever, we're, we're in force, so it's fine. Okay, hey, hey, hey. There we go, we can finally take our preferred line. There we go, look at that. Up, uh, two positions. Thank you. Oh. Okay, that's not ideal, we endoed it again. You have know, a history of endoing on this track. It's not very nice. <laughs> Trying to try and sneak it up around the outside again. Uh, 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 no, I'm getting oversteer. Nope. It was going very well up until I got the oversteer mid corner, and then you can't go around the outside when you have oversteer mid corner. That causes issues. Right. It looks like. We are going to be in fifth place. We're going to sneak up the inside. Thank you very much. Keep it in third. We'll only be able to catch that. That's quite a big group ahead fighting for the lead. Let's see if we can ro ro reel them in. Not wild them in, not roll them in. Reel them in. That was a good run through there. 
Might actually be jumping too far. Yep, I nearly rolled it. I, I jumped too far on that one because I hit the back back end and I nearly rolled the Bentley. Well, we were doing quite well up until we, you know, nearly died. Problem is we're going to have to push like that again if we want to catch those guys and get anything higher than a fifth. And that means risking it. Risking it means absence, and absence means problems. So, let's hope that doesn't happen with the Rowley Bentley. Uh, no, 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 no. Ow. I keep wanting a downshift. I keep thinking I'm driving an all-wheel drive car when I'm most certainly not. Because technically, if you want to be better in the road range, you got to downshift there. But downshifting there causes many issues. Four wheel spin issues. We're gonna coast. Now get on the power. No, that, that didn't help much. I, okay. I tried to get a better run so I could have more speed on the uphill, but that, that didn't work. Which means I am going to be stuck just looking at the back of this fight as we go on the main, on a sort of straightaway, pseudo straightaway, the flat out section. Towards the finish line on the last lap, fifth place again. Ah, I just didn't have enough time. I caught up in that battle for seven for just a bit too long. That was a great race. That was a great race. I nearly rolled it a few times, but we're good. One minor interruption. Yeah, that was a very fast lap, that fourth one. And finally, to finish off the greatest spectacle in motor racing, we are here at Ambleside because I couldn't just leave it at Mud Kicker, okay? These are massive, massive beasts. So they have to go around the most technical Titan track in the game. I know it's not a rally track, so I might struggle a bit, but um, it's 12 Bentley land yachts around Ambleside. That, ha that has to be a requirement somewhere. I'm doing quite well though, up the inside. We're three wide, oh, I didn't do that, that was him. I was just up the inside. There we go. That was a very nice couple of... Ah, I'm running. Nope, 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 nope. Going into the house. Alright, so this thing can get a little bit of understeer. Just... Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm getting a bit of understeer on this very technical track. For some reason, it feels very big all of a sudden. The rally stages, it was fine, but... Funnily enough, on the Walden Street Circuit, it is very technical, although I do like the turn-in. That section right there, that was some very good turn-in from the Bentley. I'm very impressed. That actually felt like a normal car, not just, you know, this. Come on, can we go up the inside here? Can we go up the inside? Nope, nope, we can't do that. That's a, They're going too wide up ahead, though. Whoop. All right, he's running wide. Can we capitalize? Can we sneak it up the inside? Not if I bump into him. I'm actually getting under steer from the tires. Can we go around the outside with the turn-in? Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're still on the outside. We're going to go around the outside again. Can we, can we, can we? Yes, look at that. We're on the inside now. We're going to give him space. He will not have the line. I will say thank you very much for the position. We are fighting like hell for seventh place. And once again, the top four are running away absolutely running away like a sprint race. We're gonna go up the inside of this guy. No overseer to the third gear act. We're gonna sneak up the inside of this guy. That was, maybe, he's, oh, he's gonna hold it. He's gonna hold it. I gotta give him space. Okay, well, we're three wide again, sort of. I'm gonna get in that position because they had terrible exits, and now we need to try... No, never mind. I was going to say we need to try and catch up to those guys. I highly suspect we won't be able to. Again. Especially if they throw a lamppost at me. That's just very inconsiderate of them. We will probably get fastest lap simply by, you know, being in clean air. Around Ambleside is a very good thing. But... We are going to try maybe defend. I don't think we'll be able to catch them up there. That was a good run through there. We got a lap and a bit more to go. That's not a great line. 
That's a very slow line. We're catching them, we're catching them quite quickly because they are fighting really hard on the street circuit. So they're going to be slowing themselves down tremendously. I just can't get that corner right. I can't get that corner right. I don't know why. So I think I'm going to run out of laps. Especially if I keep doing that like an imbecile. Your interaction ain't that bad in second gear when you're on the tarmac. It's not that bad at all. Boy, that's a curve, I think. I mean, thank you helping me around the corner curve, but that, that's a bit scary, just getting your car chucked sideways. You're actually hitting 100 miles an hour, which I did not expect to be able to do around this street circuit with a rear-wheel drive car. Sure, it has 800 horse or 800 foot-pounds of torque, but I did not expect to be hitting over 100 miles an hour in here. That's not very easy in most cars around Animal Side, especially when it's a very handling-focused car. Well, sure, it has enormous power. I, I, and once again, three out of three, got in that corner wrong. Well, did at least get that corner right though this time. Didn't hit a lamppost, didn't run wide. That's a better section, we just got that corner wrong again. Which means we are going to finish in a relatively lonely fourth place. Bit of overseer on the end. Yeah, that was a bit hectic. Certainly those first three laps were quite hectic, and then I just couldn't get it consistent enough. Very similar lap times, actually. I was impressed. I actually did not get past this lap. The guy behind me did. Um, that was good fun. I like that car a lot. That's a very good addition. The next cars in this pack, the two of the Range Rover Velour and the Jaguar I-Pace, they're fine, but this is really the car that you want, so I would highly recommend getting this before next Thursday. <laughs> Because it's a really good car, it's really good fun to mess around with. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 4. I'll be back with more.